Yo, what's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. And so this is the update video that I've been talking about. Um, these, these last two videos have been a long time coming, almost two months. Uh, things are just getting in the way. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, get to this and uh, get this information to you as quick as possible. You see these two power washers? You may say, well, what's the difference? They're the same power washer. As that may be true, uh, there may be a difference to them, and we're going to find that out today. If you see this video, then most likely what I thought it was actually true. So we're going to find that out here in a second. These power washers are exactly the same. All right? They got the same image. They got the same uh, wording. Uh, everything exactly the same right they got the same model number 63254 and 63254 uh, if you look at the side they're the same if you look at the back they're the same but let me see if you can notice one major difference and I believe it's going to be one major difference I, again this is just a box okay I actually have this in the back and it's the one that you saw on my last video all right and this is actually brand new I have not opened it. it's been sitting here for over a month and a half almost two months so in my last video I showed you I showed you the extensions that I bought right because how the wand came with just this standard one and you had to open and close it and you couldn't use the dedicated nozzles that have a certain degree a fixed degree on them right so I went ahead and bought these two online well this one not including that but I bought the uh, extensions online and as I was uh, actually I'm going to show you probably a video right here I'm probably going to let it run for a little bit uh, because as soon as I bought these like the next day or so I can't remember how long it was um, this bad boy came out and this is a brand new one because I returned the first one that I got and I returned the first one that I got because this is the wand this is the gun handle right and this is the uh, how it goes you push it in you turn it locks in place right this is the default one that it came with all right and so they started coming out shortly after with their own quick disconnect right um, or their own their own wand with a quick disconnect so that you can use your own fixed nozzles right um, but as you can see in this video Hopefully I'm not blocking it or anything like that. Um, I am trying to put this new one from Harbor Freight that says Portland 1750 PSI electric power washer, right? To go on to the gun that goes into for this power washer. And as you see, it's not going on. It's not fitting whatsoever. So what I did, the initial one that I that I had, uh, this is brand new, I haven't opened it yet. I took that back to the store and I went to the floor model that they had. And, and their handle, the gun handle, was the same as mine. Maybe I can zoom in for you and you can see. Maybe if you can see a difference. That's as much as I need to go. So I'll go ahead right now and show you the difference. So this one right here, I believe is the initial production. And as you can see, this gun handle has red, okay? Like a safety, your safety switch. And that's what this has right here. It has a red safety switch. So when you push it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't engage. That way a kid or you don't hit your uh, little kid or hit somebody in the face at a high pressure, right? It locks it, all right? On this one down here, we have green. It's, it's to match the Portland green that you see on this box. 
So this handle is green and this one's red. This is the one that I've been seeing that they've been adding more into the store. So my theory is that this quick disconnect wand that they created or manufactured for this pressure washer is only for the green wand, the green trigger and the green safety switch. So if that is the case, and we're about to test that here in a second, make sure that if you go to the store and you see one with a box that has the red trigger and you plan to buy this one, it's not gonna work. I took this, the one that I purchased, it was out of the box and I went to the store and the store had the red handle as well. But in the box, the boxes all had the green handle. They all had the green. Uh, when I went to go buy it two weeks prior, they all had the red. So everybody who purchased this Portland power washer from that time that I purchased mine to the time I went back into the store about maybe a week or two later, um, all the green ones were in stock. All the with the green handle. Hopefully you can see that, right? Um, so I went to go put this on the handle that was on display with the red uh, trigger and safety switch and it did not fit. So um, my belief is that they're going to fit on the green. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about that. So what we're going to do, we're going to find out right now. I'm going to take this out of the box. I'm going to take this out of the box here. This is brand new. Now it has not, has not been opened. I haven't tested it yet. But if my theory is right, you got to watch out. Watch out. If you're going to want to buy this extension right here, you may want to get the one with the green handle. You buy it off Facebook, off of uh, Craigslist, or any of the marketplaces on buy it used. You might want to make sure it has the green trigger and the green safety switch. But don't mark my word yet. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's just see if it fits. This has the green uh, the green handle. Let me take this out real quick. Alright. Taking out the uh, the Harbor Freight Portland uh, quick disconnect wand. Just pulled it out. As you can see, both the same model number of uh, power washers. One has the green or one has the red, which I believe is the older version. And, oh, let me show you. Let, let me show you first and watch this one fit. Watch the other one. Watch the first one be a, 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 a defect. So this is supposed to go in here like this. And nothing. It does not turn. You see? It, it stops right there. There's not supposed to be any gap right there. It's supposed to be go in there all the way. Nothing. Man, you didn't put the sticker on there right. Look at that. Come on guys. I'm gonna have my stuff nice. Okay, moment of truth. Does it fit the green? Oh, there it goes. Turned. Boom. And it's locked in place. Okay, it's not coming out. I push in, turn, and out. There you go. Push in, turn, and that's it. I don't know if it's supposed to open like that, but that's it. Right there. Now, now the extension, Harbor Freight, quick disconnect. Now I can put my nozzle on there. Spray you to get a nice shot. Anyway, so we're not going to go through the whole spraying process or anything like that. This was just a really important video that I wanted you all to see. So just know 
that the new extension that Harbor Freight has made, this one right here, hopefully the light's not too bright, uh, will fit the green trigger and safety switch handle. Does not fit the red, the red safety switch with the black trigger. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I, I I don't know. I don't know why. Let me see the inside. Um, I do not see a difference. There's got to be some kind of small difference. Actually, I think the spring is a little bit. I think the spring in there is a little bit more forward than the one on the red. But anyway, I'm not going to take much of your time. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe it helps out a lot if you ever have time to uh, if you ever feel like it uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video let me know as always by giving it a thumbs up comment down below did you go out and buy this and you had a red handle or a red uh, safety trigger and, and, and black handle and you had to take it back well guess what you got the wrong one well not by choice, uh, but you had probably the, the one with the red uh, safety switch. So go back out, go buy your new updated uh, pressure washer. The box will have the green handle, so it's not like they all have the red handle or they all have the green handle and you don't know what you're going to get inside. So the box, if the box has the black trigger, with the red safety switch, that's what you're going to get inside. If the box has the green trigger with the green safety switch, that's what you're going to get inside. So if you don't plan to use this uh, from Harbor Freight and you plan on getting your own, then you don't have to worry. This fits both. Before I put my foot in my mouth, let me, uh, oh shoot, didn't even lock it. Let's try the new extensions that I bought. For that fit the other one let's see if they fit the green goes in turns locks so it fits that's good push in turn unlock let's try the 15 inch push in turn it's locked okay so this should be able to work turn push in turn unlock or disengage remove whatever all right so hopefully this helped you i know the video was long uh, i try and make them short but anyway hopefully this information helped you out let me hold these bad boys up like this this does not fit the harbor freight extension this fits the harbor freight extension both the same model number i'm, I'm sure it has a different part number but i don't even know if it has a part number all right again uh thank you for watching thank you for your time and until then hope you're having a good day printing we'll talk to you next time peace